All righty. Hi, everyone. Back to me again. And now we're going to start looking at what do you do when there are two terms. And again, if you look at that worksheet that I gave you guys, um, is if you have two terms here, we are going to do something that says square terms and something that says cute terms. So there's some blanks here, and I'm going to fill in the blanks with you guys. So dots stands for an acronym for difference of two squares. And I forgot the word two, so make sure you write that in. So dots is the difference of two squares. So if you are, they're asking you to factor something and they say to factor something and it's in the form of something squared minus something squared, then you're gonna factor it using a certain formula that I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, these are for cube terms. So they're asking you to factor something that's in the form where something's being cubed minus something is being cubed. You're gonna use a particular formula or something being cubed plus something else being cubed, then you use another formula. So this would be called the difference of two cubes or the sum of two cubes. And because I'm kind of cheesy like that, I um, made the acronym DOCTICA, D-O-T-C, and the acronym SOCTICA, S-O-T-C. So I, whenever I get two terms, I ask myself, is it a dot, a DOCTICA, or a SOCTICA? So whichever one it is, then I'm gonna use that formula. So let's talk about those formulas and how to use them. All right, so let's talk about a dots first. So dots, D-O-T-S, so um, maybe I'll just write it right here somewhere. Dots stands for difference of two squares. So D-O-T-E-S or D-O-T-S. And again, I'm making up this acronym, so you might not see this in a math book or anything, but it's just something that I use to remember something. So if, if you're given, so this is what you're given. If you're given something in which you have two terms, such as these problems here, you have two terms, and they are in the form where something's being squared minus something else is being squared, then this equals to, when you factor it, it's gonna be equal to A minus B times A plus B. This is the factored version. This is the factored version of this polynomial. So again, factor means that you're writing something is as a product of two or more things. So for, before we do this example, I just want to ask us, where did they come up with this formula? Did it just come out of, come out of thin air or did it, did it require a genius like Einstein to figure out this formula? Well, the answer is no. It doesn't require genius to figure it out. So let me talk about how this formula came about. So remember, factoring is just the reverse of distribution. So if I gave you, if we were given um, a minus b times a plus b, if I gave that to you initially, um, we know from the past few weeks with mathematics, how you solve this is that you would just distribute it. So if you distributed it, meaning you would you spoil or just, or just distribute through like that, you would get a squared plus a b right? And then you would distribute the bottom, so you get minus AB plus, I'm sorry, minus AB minus B squared. So when you do that, and then you combine like terms, AB and AB here are the same terms. It's plus AB minus AB, so you end up just getting zero, so you end up just getting A squared minus B squared. So it didn't require Einstein or a genius to figure this out, right? So again, if you have something in the form a squared minus b squared to go reverse, which is what factoring is, factoring is the reverse of distribution. When you go reverse of this, it's a minus b times a plus b. So that ends up just always being a pattern. So because it's a pattern, we created a formula for it so it's easy to use. So here it is. This is equal to that. All right, so let's look at the first problem here. First problem is w squared minus 36. First thing I ask myself is, is there a GCF? So remember when we're dealing with this, the first thing we want to ask ourselves, actually use the wrong form, this one here, find the GCF. So the first thing you want to do is, the guy says, or the girl says, find the greatest common factor. w squared and 36, do they have anything in common? No, it doesn't. So no GCF. So that doesn't mean that we stop there, we can still keep factoring. So even though there's no GCF, we can still keep going. There are two terms. Okay, two terms, what do I do? 
Do I do Xbox? No. Do I group? No. Two terms. Is it a dots, a doctica, or softica? So in this case, this is a dots. It's a difference of two squares, and I'll show you why it's a dots. So a dots is something that's in the form of this. It's the difference, meaning subtraction, of two squared things. And notice it's squared and squared. So when we look at this, I ask myself, is this a dot? Is this the difference of two things? Is it the difference of two things that are squared? So here, when I look at w squared, is, it, is this term the squared of something? The answer is yes. This term w squared is the squared of w, right? W is being squared to give me w squared. Minus 36. Is 36 a squared term? Is something being squared to give me 36? And the answer is yes, it is the number six. Six squared gives me 36. So therefore, since it meets this criteria, that then therefore, then yes, it is a dot. And because it's a dot, I can factor it using this formula. So the formula says a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b, a plus b. Well, this is kind of like my A, and this is like my B in the formula, right? So when I factor it, when I factor, when I write this as a product of two different things, the first one is going to be A minus B. Well, A is W and B is 6, so W minus 6. And then the second one is going to be A plus B, which is W plus 6. And this is our final answer. Was that easy or what, right? Um, and if, I always recommend checking your work. So again, if you check your work, if you FOIL this, just like we did here, if you FOIL this, you would get W squared plus 6W minus 6W minus 36. The two middle terms cancels out, and we end up getting W squared minus 36. And what do you know, that was what we first started off with. Okay. So, and maybe some of you guys might ask, well, does it matter which way you write this, this order? And the answer is, no, it doesn't matter. So it could be A minus B times A plus B, or you could write it as A plus B times A minus B, and that's A-OK. -okay. So it doesn't have to be the minus first, it could be A plus B times A minus B. So this answer is also acceptable if you put W plus six times W minus six. Both answers are acceptable. All right, so let's take a look at another problem. Um, so this problem here is number 15 on the Math 140 worksheet. And for those who are in Math 130 worksheet, it's something very similar to this, so you could do that extra problem as well. So here again, the first thing I ask myself is, is there a GCF? Does 81x squared and negative 4 have anything in common? Hmm, no, it doesn't, right? So now that it doesn't have anything in common, then I'm going to count the terms, uno, dos. Two terms, so I am not going to Xbox, I am not going to group. I'm going to look at this two terms where I have, I ask myself, is it a dots, a doctica, or a soctica? Well, I'm going to try to see if it's a dot. So is it a dot? In other words, is it the difference of two squared terms? Is it difference, meaning subtraction, of two squared terms? Well, I look at 81x squared. 81, is it a square term? Yes, it is. What squared gives you 81? 9. x squared, is that a square term? Yes, it is. It's the squared of x. So 9x, if I square that, gives me 81x squared. So that works. That's a square term. The second blank is for a square term. Yes, it is. It's the square root of 2. So yes, it is a difference of two squares. So because it is a difference of two squares, I can now use this formula. So when I use that formula, what this equals to, when I factor it, so this is factoring now, when I factor it, it's going to be the product of two things. And the product of those two things is a minus b times a plus b. And here, OK, my knees are hurting. <laughs> OK, so here is my a, and here is my b. 
right? So a minus b times a plus b, so I'm gonna get 9x minus two a minus b times the second parentheses a plus b, 9x plus two. And again, you could write this in reverse order. You could write this as 9x plus two times 9x minus two. So either one would be A-OK. -okay, right? And again, you could check it by distributing and foiling it out, and you'll see that you'll end up with that answer. So I highly recommend doing that, but for the sake of time, I'll let you guys um, check it on your own. All right, last but not least is, I'm sure, is this being recorded? Yes. Last but not least is number 16 on the Math 140 worksheet or number 16 on Math 130 worksheet. Again, another type of problem like this. So again, I'm going to ask myself, does this have a GCF? And maybe at this point you're like, oh my gosh, everything I've been doing does not have a GCF. Why do I keep going through this? Well, check this out. Here I have two terms. Does this have a GCF? Hmm. 49 and 81, actually it doesn't. Okay, wrong problem. Maybe in a, a future problem I'll get to, it will have a GCF. But for now, these three problems did not have GCF. So the answer is no. So now I see two terms, so I'm gonna ask myself, is it a dot? So is it the difference of two squared terms? So the number 49, what squares to give you 49? Seven. U squared, what squares to give you U squared? u minus 81v squared. What squares to give you 81v squared? 9v. 9v times 9v is 81v squared. So hopefully I'm going a little bit faster now that you're able to catch on with it. Um, so here I'm going to write this now as the product of two or more items and this is the step of factoring. So using this formula again, it's going to be a minus b times a plus b. This is my a and this is my b. So it's gonna be 7u minus 9v and 7u plus 9v. And that is your final answer for how to factor a dots problem.